go to the very end of the courtyard and wash your hands, please. Sure. Thank okay. you. This is the way we're going to go. We're going to go straight, no detours, straight to the end of the forecourt where there is a washing station. And I'm going to go and wash my hands. Okay, I'll put my prayer book down. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, throw it in the bin, the towel, pick up my prayer book, and then I'm going to come into the synagogue in which we are now using the Wiseman Linden Hall. Welcome into the show. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm a steward this morning. As you can see, we have a gangway here. Before I take you to your seat, I thought I'd show you the ladies' gallery, which is here. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. I want to have a look. Follow me. So as you can see, we've created a beautiful area, two meters in all directions, plenty of space for the ladies to be able to come and to join us in our services. And now we are going to go across and I'm going to go and be directed to my seat by one of the stewards. Follow me. Rabbi, so now you to the ladies' gallery, let me take you to your seat. Thank We're you. Follow this gangway, okay. just follow me. So follow the yellow brick road, all the way along. And as you can see, we've got two meters between all the seats. We're filling up from the back, so okay. if you to take your seat, yours is the far corner seat. Okay. So I'm going to go straight to my seat. I'm not going to be talking to anyone or mixing with anyone. I'm going to put my coat on the back of the seat. I've got my prayer book. I've got my toilet. On the week day, I have my tefillin, and I sit down here. I don't move the seats. The seat, seat stays where it is, and I stay here praying for the duration of the service. Okay, so um, we've seen around the uh, synagogue that we've created. And you'll notice that there is, there will be windows that will be open on both sides so that we have a free flow of air going through, as well as the doors being kept open so there'll be an airy environment that we're creating. A couple of points that I want to make on behalf of the uh, organ organizers for our services, and that is number one, because we have a very limited number of people that are going to be able to attend in one shot. Therefore, it's imperative that everyone comes at the beginning of the services, so that we have a minyan to start off with. Secondly, it's important to bear in mind that if you do come with a coat, as we mentioned already, you put it on the back of your seats. There's nowhere else you're going to be able to put it. Thirdly, of course, you come with a face covering, and you are not allowed during the duration of the services to sing or to talk to other people during the services. I think it's important for us also, finally, to bear in mind that all the measures that we are putting in place in our service, in our synagogue, during COVID, are not just for the benefit of those attending, but it's for the benefit of the entire community, for many other family members that we are shielding and we are trying to protect for all of our well-being. And therefore, I hope and pray that we will all ensure that we adhere and listen to the policies and the, and the measurements so that we can all come to shore and pray safely. So lastly, I just want to say on behalf of the executive, on behalf of each and every one of us, how much we are looking forward to coming back to our shore, to coming back as a community, to be able to pray together. It's been so long that we've been apart, and I have missed each and every one of you, and I'm looking forward to being together. We hope that everyone will work with us. Of course, things may change and as the measurements and restrictions change, but together we hope that we'll be able to build a way forward for the future so that we can all come and pray together as a community in a safe environment.